Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today I am going to make this Christmas wreath in five minutes. Hmm, impossible you think? Well, we'll see. Right, so I was playing around last night. I just had this flash of an idea and I thought what if I make that, what if I use this stamp set to create a wreath, a Christmas wreath. So I thought it was, um, I tried it out, just this is a scrap piece of paper from, you know, just a um, local craft shop. Um, I just got some 12 by 12 white card there um, and I thought, well, you know, let, let, let me try it out on that. If it doesn't work, it's no big deal. Um, so I just tried out some, I liked it and I thought, oh, I'll keep going and I kept going and I did it so quickly. I thought, well, you know, I must be able to do this in five minutes. So. I have everything prepared here, ready to go. Uh, the Ornamental Pine is the stamp set that we're using for this uh, Christmas series. As you know, I've done quite a few more tutorials on cards. Um, I actually have here a set of 20 Christmas cards, five designs, four each of uh, the design. Um, a very simple, straightforward Christmas cards that you could easily make yourself. Um, or if you want to that you could buy from me so either you go to my blog and see the details about buying this set uh, of cards or you can go to my uh, stamping up a website um, which is called opheliacrafts.stampingup.net to buy the supplies and the supplies are the um, Christmas wish, the ornamental pine, sorry I keep saying that, the ornamental pine uh, stamp set I have used uh, cherry cobbler um, colour and also the cherry cobbler paper you will need. This is the baked brown sugar, you will also need the paper. This is the mossy meadow, you will need some scraps of uh, mossy meadow so uh, if you have some you can keep, uh, you can use those. Um, and then very vanilla I used for those cards as well. But for this time, for the wreath, um, luck has it, I um, bought recently one of these um, wreaths um, and that's just the size to go on a 12 by 12 um, piece of paper. So um, I used this as my template, so uh, in a moment when I put my um, timer on I will draw around it and use that um, uh, to work with. Um, I was going to use this for a I don't know actually, <laughs> I bought it because I wanted to make a Halloween wreath I think but it didn't happen yet. So anyway, Christmas wreath on paper using stamps, 12 by 12 uh, sized paper, very vanilla, five minutes. Let's get going. So I have here my phone which has appeared in quite a few <laughs> quite a few tutorials now. Right, so it's on five minutes and I'm just going to press start and here we go. I'm going to very lightly go round. Really that's just as a guide. You need somewhere to put your um, your things in, your stamps in. Otherwise you'll end up with um, an oval instead of a, a round wreath. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put the ornaments. So. I'm going to put the ornaments like so. Oh, where, where? Okay, then I'm going to put the cone. Oh, I didn't ink that up properly, never mind. I'll make sure you don't see that. And again, oh, I think it's because the ink pad is quite a, a way away for me. Okay. One more. Oh, I don't know where, where. Oh, well, let's put it there. You can't see it then. We'll put some uh, stuff over that. 
Then I've made some masks for the uh, baubles. I might do them uh, without masks later on. I'm just going to put these ink pads to the side. Um, but to start with, we can have some of the baubles covered up and then we'll do some more stamping with maybe a secondary stamp or something, you know, not stamping the full um, the full um, ink, you know, second do the second stamping, second generation stamping. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, honestly. This timer business is doing my head in, you know. <laughs> right, okay, so that's done. Now let's start with inking up our sprig. Now the, the main thing here is not to ink up the stem. Okay. There we go. And now we just go around. Other videos of my um, wreaths have proven very popular, so I'm hoping that this one will be popular too. I just need to clean the stem. Um, as it's going to be a five minute video, I think it might become quite a, a popular one. So here we go, we take this off and then we add it to, sorry, my ink pad keeps travelling, um, we add it to the next bauble, see, so we don't get any stamping on there. And let's take this one off as well. Make sure you don't get any ink from the fingers that are on, that's on the mask onto your paper. Yeah, okay, the stem is okay here. I'm out of the picture. Okay, we'll have to have this one. And um, need one from there to go here. Oh, and I should have done that. Left that there. Let's do some more stamping up here. Okay, now let's bring this down here. Uh, that can stay, I think, the this one here I need. Okie dokie. So basically, you just need to mask off where you're going to be stamping so that you don't get... Um, we're going to leave that one as it is, see what effect that would give it. Oh yeah, we, we were going to leave that like that, weren't we? Just like that. And again, making sure you don't ink up. And you just... Ah, oh, there we go. That's five minutes gone. Okay. Yes. You know, that went so quick. <laughs> um, it was not going to be five minutes, this, but... I think I did a very good effort because it's not going to take much longer than five minutes. So clean off the stem. Um, see, and now I've got this secondary ink on there. Um, let's do it that way and have one here. See, so just to, as a, a little added thing. There we go. Hmm. Actually, I think one more here. There we go. Okay. Now let's remove. Oh, look, I got some ink on there. Never mind. Uh, now let's remove the um, masks. And let's see where we're at. Well, at least I know this video is only going to be about 10 minutes, so that's good. Because I think you like those. The not-so-long ones. OK, 
Okay, so there we go. We have our wreath. And tomorrow, or in the next tutorial, I will make the bow because I had a bow here. I will show you how to make the bow. So thank you very much for watching and um, see you in the next tutorial. Bye!